Welcome to the Bearded Barbarian! Welcome everybody, welcome to today's video. Today, we're opening a cool, cool figure. That's right, a figure. It's not a Funko. No, not from the Funko shop, not from Ralphie's Funhouse. I'm not gonna list all the places where it isn't. I got this from Etsy, okay? So every now and then I like to surf around Etsy and see what I can try to figure out. And I, the reason I got this is I'm getting, I'm a little full of myself lately, a little full of myself. I made a cool DIY lamp. You can go check out the video if you're interested. And it came out pretty good. It's very beginner level. So if you don't really have a lot of skills, you can still do fairly well with it. So I decided, well, if I can do that, I can definitely do this. Cause this is a 3D printed image of a superhero that I'm going to have to do, I think some assembly and uh, all the painting. So can I paint within the lines? I got a D in, in the kindergarten painting outside the line. So let's hope and see how it can turn out. I will put the information down below of uh, the, the Etsy shop I got it from, so you can sort of see. Uh, you won't specifically know if I said the person, so. But I'm hoping it's very cool. There were some cool pictures on there. And like I said, you can go ahead and get it. It wasn't super expensive. I'm um, trying to remember exactly how much I paid. I don't know, maybe 65 bucks, something like that. Um, if, you're, if you have a 3D printer, I think you can get the image online some places and make it yourself. I do not have a 3D printer, nor the skill to make one. So, let's go ahead and check it out and see what we did. Hopefully it turned out well because I already gave this guy a good review um, because it's been sitting for a while. So, I'm going to go ahead and hope it worked out. All right, and you're gonna see what it is. And it's a decent size when it's supposed to be. Again, that's the part that always throws me when I buy like a figure or something that's not like a regular thing. Um, and uh, because you think, oh, it may be this size or that. Ooh, it's a good size. Look at that, look at that. You can see this is the base. You can see the rock formation here and kind of the rock. It's, it looks very detailed. I'll say take some close up pictures. You can see a fist right here. You think you can figure it out from that, huh? Huh? Well, maybe you can, maybe you can. We'll see. All right, looks like it's packed really, really well. All right, we got, looks like there's in two parts. Two parts, I'll let you figure out. Oh, here it is. Here's his legs. Okay, figured it out yet? Hmm, did you figure it out yet? It's the Incredible Hulk. That's right, the Incredible Hulk. All right, so there's, that's the bottom. And here is the top. Okay, I don't think there's anything in there. There's no instructions to speak of. You'll have to figure this all out on your own. Okay, so this is what it is, and this will be sort of how it goes together. You can sort of see how it is. And there's this, I guess it goes, oh, I see where it is, just like this, okay? So let me see if I can carefully put it in there. I'll have to do some gluing, etc. but I'll just kind of set it on there for now. It's a good size, look how big it is. I'm impressed. How big would you say it's 18 inches tall? I wish I had a sort of a measuring tape. I do have a measuring tape, actually. <laughs> All right, so let's do, our, let's do a little measuring. So aside from the bottom to his head is what, 17 inches? Looks like around 16 inches to the top of his head there. Here to here is maybe a foot. Um, about the same there. So yeah, it's about a foot by a foot and then 16 inches tall, it's a good size. Um, it's in great shape. The detail, it's hard to see, but again, I'm gonna take some pictures up close so you can really get a chance to see, but it's really in great shape. They did an awesome job cleaning this up. Um, it is gonna be super cool. Let's just see if I can paint it well. That's the main thing. I mean, it's gonna be really tricky to try to get the rock, because you want the rock formations to be, you know, so it look good, not just like black or just brown or something like that. And this, you know, paint this up kind of cool, etc. Um, there's some tutorials I'm going to do and see if I can figure this thing out. But it is super cool in the meantime. And I, it sort of stands by itself. I thought I wouldn't even be able to get it to stand without like gluing it down, etc. But it's not in that bad a shape, really, to be able to, you could, I guess you could just leave it like this if you really wanted to. So we're going to work on some of that and I'll probably try to clean up some of the lines with a little clay, etc. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm, again, I'm going to take some pictures up close so you can sort of see in some video, put it on my spinner and see if we can get some real good quality uh, footage, but it is hard to see on camera without it being up close. I am going to do a video either in this or the next one of me painting it And so hopefully you'll think that's super cool. So thank you very much for coming If you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and goodbye from the Bearded Barbarian